Now the complications. Complications of lipoma. So lipoma as such is a benign disease. If a person is having lipoma, usually there no treatment is in uh, required. Surgical removal is only done if there is a much of cosmetic problem. Usually the person is uh, asked to do nothing. It's a uh, safe condition. It's a benign condition. No treatment is required. But in rarest of rare cases, there can be some complication, but it is uncommon. So the lipoma, the complications of lipoma, an existing lipoma can undergo myxomatous changes. Myxomatous changes. It is basically a degenerative changes. Then lipoma can undergo calcification. Calcification. Some lipoma can undergo saponification. Lipoma can undergo uh, saponification. In some, the lipoma may get infected. They can undergo infection. And in some cases, due to repeated trauma, uh, they can undergo ulceration. But among the most important complication is the malignancy. So in the rarest of rare condition, lipoma can undergo malignancy and this malignancy is called liposarcoma. Liposarcoma. So it is more common in retroperitoneal tissue and it is the most common type of sarcoma. And uh, common in retroperitoneum, thigh and the skin where the lipoma, the benign lipoma usually which is not changing in size shows rapid growth there is warmth and vascularity skin become fixed and there can be fungation so in such cases there can be a risk of blood spread to the lungs okay so these are the complications of lipoma so usual the management the lipoma is a surgical condition surgically should be excised so surgery in case of small lipoma excision of the lipoma excision under local anesthesia is done and if in case of large lipoma general anesthesia is given and <coughs> the whole lipoma is excised and if there is like uh, uh, large malignant changes also excision is done so whenever we suspect a liposarcoma a CT scan of the chest should be done uh, to know whether there is any metastasis of this liposarcoma to the lung tissue so this is all about lipoma